The Rhone around Wildflecken is a unique cultural landscape where extensive meadows and pastures reach up into high altitudes. In clear weather, almost every mountain rewards hikers and cyclists with a beautiful and unique panoramic view. The Rhone, a region of vision. By the end of the 19th century, this area had already become a popular travel destination thanks to its unique landscape. With the beginning of industrialization, huge cities grew throughout the German Empire. Everyday life was filled with noise and the hustle and bustle of city life. More and more city dwellers were looking for rest and quiet in the countryside, especially during the hot summer months. In the Rhone, they found something special. With the expansion of the Sintelbahn in 1908, the so-called Sumer Frischler finally reached Wildflecken. Many of the guests stayed for weeks and came back year after year. They often spent their days and nights on the farms, participated in the simple country life. This way, they even changed their hosts' lives over the years. The first tourist infrastructure was developed. With ski tourism booming in the 1920s, the low mountain range around Wildflecken turned out to be a true tourist attraction. Winter sports enthusiasts from Würzburg and the Rhine-Main area arrived by special trains to the Bavarian Rhone. Back then, the Dommersfeldkuppe, with a height of 928 meters, the highest mountain of the Bavarian Rhone, was particularly popular among the ski tourists. To this day, the unique landscape has lost none of its attraction to winter sports fans, since the land of open distances offers something suitable for everyone in the wild flecken area. Fast descents or snow kiting at the Arnsberg, well-groomed cross-country ski trails, and of course fantastic snowshoe and winter hiking trails. Tourists definitely get their money's worth. The market municipality of Wildflecken is located in the Rhone, a biosphere reserve awarded by the UNESCO. Today, one of the most attractive and best developed travel destinations in Germany, according to hiking experts. The hiking trail network of the Rhone Club itself covers more than 5,000 kilometers. The region's flagship is the Hochroner, one of the first premium hiking trails in Germany. It runs for about 170 kilometers between Bad Kissingen and Bad Salzungen. The Hochroner encloses the most scenic areas of the biosphere reserve, such as the Black Mountains, the Kreuzberg, the Wasserkuppe, the Millsberg, the Red and the Black Moor. In addition, extra tours along the long-distance hiking trail and countless smaller routes ensure that every hiker finds his own personal favorite tour. The area around Wild Flecken itself offers nine well-signposted circular hiking trails for beginners, families, and professionals. Whether on the basalt path, through the natural forest reserve Lösershag, or on the so-called Otto Tründe, Wild Flecken rewards every hiker with unique insights into landscape and culture. Tradition is maintained and lived. Like the fair in Wild Flecken, where the tree is still set up by hand. The traditional market festival in the district of Oberbach enjoys great popularity since its beginning. In addition to the local clubs, theater demonstrations are an integral part of the events in Wildflecken and its districts. Also, extraordinary events take place here, such as the International Unimog Veterans Meeting in Oberbach. A special highlight in this regard is the annual public hiking day on the military training ground of Wild Flecken at the end of July. Several thousands of locals and visitors have a unique opportunity to hike through an otherwise inaccessible area which offers a wonderful untouched nature around abandoned and relocated settlements. 
unglaublich, was die hier geschafft haben, wie sie es aufgebaut haben. Eine Mühe und eine Liebe steckt hier drin. Das ist wirklich der Hammer. Also schön, dass so viele Menschen kommen und es würdigen auch. Und ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass es so eine Resonanz hat. A popular starting point for many activities in the region is the UNESCO Biosphere and Information Center in Oberbach. In the House of the Black Mountains, you can experience the geology of the Rhone and grab a regional snack for the strength you'll need for your next mountain bike tour. But not every cyclist has to go over hill and dale. The railway line, which brought the first tourists to Wildflecken more than 100 years ago, is now a well-developed adventure and themed cycle path through the region. dass die Rhön eines der schönsten Mittelgebirge ist, das es in Deutschland gibt. Spezielle Landschaften, ja. spezielle Baumarten, Baum- und Tierarten. Die Rhön ist immer, immer schon klasse gewesen und wird es wahrscheinlich auch immer sein. Wir sind schon seit Jahren regelmäßig hier nicht jeden. Einmal im Jahr auf jeden Fall. In Runde wandern bzw. spazieren wandern ist nicht mehr so ganz in unserem Alter. Wildflecken. A colorful Rhone community that, thanks to its long tourist tradition, offers everything to make your visit an unforgettable experience. <laughs>